Hi, this is David Williams from iExpert Advisor. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the free Express Edition of ETS to build your Expert Advisor. The Express Edition allows you to build an unlimited number of quick start systems. On the welcome screen, I'll select New System and then Quick Start EA. This will create a new QS system and open the main drawing of the system. A QS system has four functions on the main drawing. QS Open By Logic, QS Open Cell Logic, QS Close By Logic, and QS Close Cell Logic. If the logic of a QS function evaluates to true, then that action will occur. For example, if the logic of the QS Open By function evaluates to true, then a buy order will be opened. Likewise, if the logic of the QS Open Sell function evaluates to true, then a sell order will be opened. The same is true of the close functions. The logic of a QS function is defined by selecting the plus button. This will display the logic configuration window. A logic element consists of one or more logical conditions. Logical conditions are connected by the AND or OR keywords. Select an AND or OR will automatically create another logical condition. Logical conditions can also be explicitly added or removed. A logical condition consists of a left operand, an operator, and a right operand. An operand can be set to an MQL function, an MQL variable, or a user value. The operator can be sent to equal, not equal, less than, greater than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. On the professional edition of ETS, there are two additional operators named cross down and cross up. They are used to identify crosses. The cross down and cross up operators are not available in the express edition. I am going to define the logic for the QS open by function. For condition 1, I want to test when the RSI is greater than 50. I'll select the RSI function by going to Functions, MQL, Indicators. When I select RSI, the RSI configuration window is displayed. This allows me to select the parameters. I'll just use the default values for this. So I'll click Save to close the window. Now I'm going to enter a value into the right operand. I'll select Enter Value and I'll enter 50 and then select OK. Now I'll select the operand. I'll choose greater than. I want this condition to test when the RSI is greater than 50. Now I'll select end because I want another condition to be true before opening a buy trade. When I select end, another condition is automatically created. I want to test for the lower band of the Bollinger Band being below the low of the last candle. I'll select the I bands function by going to Functions, MQL, Indicators. The I bands configuration window is displayed. I'm going to set the mode parameter to mode lower. This will use the lower band of the Bollinger Band. I'll select Save to close the window. Now I'll set the right operand to the low of the last candle. I'll go to Variables, MQL, and select Low 1. Now I'll select the operand. I'll choose Less Than. I want this condition to test for when the lower band of the Bollinger Band is below the low of the last candle. Finally, I'll select the return value for this logic. I'll select return true because when the two conditions above are true, I want the EA to open a buy trade. 
I'll select Save, and this will save the logic and close the window. Notice if I float over the element, it displays a brief description of the logic. Okay, now we'll define the cell logic in a similar way. I'm going to define the logic to return true when a fast MA is greater than a slow MA. MA means moving average. I'll select the moving average function by going to functions, MQL, indicators. The MA configuration window is displayed. For the fast MA, I'll set the period to 6. For the slow MA, I'll set the period to 24. I'll set the operand to greater than. And I'll select return true and save the logic. Now I'm going to define the close by logic. The close logic does not need to be defined. These logics can be left unconfigured and the stop loss or take profit values can be used to close the trade. The stop loss and take profit values can be set when the EA is attached to a chart. The default values can be changed by selecting the start element, then selecting the open trade trade manager. Okay, back to our QS close by logic. I'm going to define a condition that checks if the bid price is higher than the close of the last bar. First, I'll select bid by going to variables MQL and double clicking bid. If I select save and close the configuration window now, the function will turn red because it is not fully defined. We do this so that you are aware that the logic is not defined and will never return true. Notice the QS close cell function is not read. This is because we never attempted to define it, and that this is an acceptable state and may be the desired setting. Our QS close by function is partially defined, and this is usually not done on purpose, so we turn the element red, making the condition noticed. To finish the QS close by logic, I'll open it back up and select close by going to the variables MQL and double clicking close one. I'll select greater than and I'll select return true and save the logic. It's not red anymore because it is fully defined. Now we are ready to build our expert advisor. I'll select the build button on top. This is the message you'll see in the Express Edition when the build completes successfully. I'll select Yes to open our MT platform. This will open your MT platform and load it into a VTS tab. Our EA is under the EA menu. I'll drag it to a chart, look over the inputs, and select OK to run the Expert Advisor. And that's it. We are now running our EA built using the free Express Edition of ETS. If you don't have the Express Edition of ETS, stop by our website at iExpertAdvisor.com and get your free copy today.